Old brick buildings we've known for a very long time fall down in earthquakes. The problem is that the people who want to save these buildings often aren't the same people who own them. And it all comes down in the end to money. So if everyone could afford it, we would save these buildings every time. So the real challenge is to develop cost-effective methods to try to save these buildings. The first thing you find is that in order to strengthen them, you need to first be able to understand how strong they are. And so we found that we need to take a big step backwards and learn how to assess these buildings. They're really only held together by the weight of the building itself. So they don't have any tensile elements. So that what you need to do is essentially connect all the different parts of the building together. So what we're looking to do is to secure the floors to the walls, add extra reinforcement into the walls, make sure the parapet doesn't fall off the top of the building. So we need to tie that back into the roof. So there's a real focus on different sorts of connections that need to be added into the building. Straight after the earthquake, I realised I was going to need more people to help me collect the data. So I invited a number of PhD students from other universities to come and work with us at the University of Auckland. So we hosted them and uh, sent them to Christchurch and they all worked together as a team to collect the data. The first step was to ob observe the, the damage patterns. Um, the second step was to identify whether the building has undergone any strengthening um, prior to the earthquake and then to identify how that strengthening actually helped um, the building performance. Uh, based on the, the, the damage that we observed, we established that it was um, riskier to be outside the building, so that the, the likelihood of, of being killed or seriously injured when you're outside the building was a lot higher. Unreinforced masonry buildings tend to fail outwards because of the lack of connections between the diaphragms and the walls. The data that was collected after the Canterbury earthquakes was used directly in the um, Royal Commission uh, reports. We produced two reports for the Royal Commission and the second one in particular talked about the performance of earthquake strengthened buildings and it was some of the best data ever collected on this topic. So it is expected that the results from those reports will help to guide future strengthening in cities all over New Zealand. <laughs>